Welcome back everyone. Today's video is about the new look and features in the upcoming One UI 6. First thing first, the quick panel has a new layout. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth has their own dedicated buttons at the top, while dark mode and eye comfort have been moved to the bottom. Overall, it looks more refined and visually pleasing than before. Moving next, uh, now you have the option of switching the quick setting instant access on, which means you can view expanded quick panel by swiping just to once from the top right side of the screen. Now to the improved album art display in the notification panel, unlike in One UI where there is a tiny album art, now album art covers the entire media controller like you can see on the right side. Now let's talk about the lock screen. Now you can move the clock widget to the position of your choice. Unlike earlier in One UI 5 where it was fixed at one place and you cannot move it. Now you can move it around, up, down, left, right or center. Unlike earlier for moving an item, uh, now you can simply hold it with one hand and use another hand to navigate to the screen of your choice. Also, One UI 6 has a new default font, Roboto, with a more stylish and modern feel. The content sharing option, uh, nothing must have changed drastically, so better let's not get into the details about it, it's uh, more or less same. Moving on to the weather, there's a new weather widget in One UI 6. Now you can find more information in the weather app. In One UI 6, it shows moon phases, viewpoint, atmospheric pressure, visibility, the sunrise and the sunset option. You can see that now it shows the sun position also. Whereas in the One UI 5, as you can see in the left, all those details uh, we just talked about are uh, missing the moon phases, viewpoint, atmospheric pressure, and visibility. Heading on to the camera app, the watermark feature is turned on. Now you have the luxury of the information you want to display in the watermark, like model, date, and time. So you can select whatever information you want to show. Also, you can further decide where it appears as well including the alignment either on top or at the bottom now moving on to the gallery while viewing a picture swiping up from the bottom of the screen now provides quick access to the effects and editing features like the remaster object eraser etc samsung health home screen has been completely revamped bold fonts and colors have been used which makes it easier to see the information. Uh, it looks uh, uh, visually pleasing since it's a bit more colorful now. Okay, these are some bonus tips for you. There's a custom camera widget now, which means you can set the widget to start in a specific shooting mode. Like you can choose rear or the front camera. On top of that, you can choose the mode like portrait, video, pro, slow-mo, hyperlapse, etc. So next time you click on the widget, it will open the camera in the mode you have selected. Also, there is a new 24-hour time-lapse feature. Just swipe up from the bottom of an image and press the 24-hour time-lapse option. And there you go will create a short video by itself showing full daytime 24 hours time lapse you can save it or it's just for fun moving on to the final one the airplane mode now remember your setting like once to turn the airplane mode on and let's say you switch on the bluetooth next time when you turn on the airplane mode it will remember your previous setting and keep the bluetooth on 
this time by itself so thank you very much for watching guys let us know your thoughts in the comment see you in the next upload thanks for watching